with 50 laps to go in the Daytona 500, the first woman driver in the history of this race, is giving a good account of herself. This is Janet Guthrie in car number 68. As you see, she's in 14th place of the 20 cars remaining in the race. She started in 39th position, is still running, as we say, well placed. Chris talked to her earlier. Janet Guthrie, the first woman to qualify for a Daytona 500. Janet, yesterday's practice problems. Exactly what were they? Oh, well, actually, what happened was that we believe we have the handling all fixed up on the Kelly girl. I was so ecstatic about the uh, the way it was handling that I got a, a little too fast just as the tires were going away and sort of broadsided the wall, but nothing serious, and we're in good shape for the start today, I believe. Was it a hard hit? Oh, no, it just pushed the fenders in a little bit, sort of sanded down the side of the car. We kept the sign painter busy for a while. Does that uh, make you a woman driver, Janet? Oh, Chris, what are you going to cut it out? <laughs> Janet, what about your uh, your approach? Are you going to charge, or do you want to primarily want to finish, or are you going to race? Just how are you going to handle it? Well, I've always felt it's sort of silly to crash a car on the first lap of a 500-mile race, so I imagine I'll use my usual conservative start. But, you know, it depends on how the car actually feels and uh, what the field is doing at the time. Does the traffic bother you? I, no, I, uh, not, if, not if the car is handling right. You know, if you can't put your car where you want it within 12 feet or so, why naturally you can't run next to anybody else. But uh, if, if your car is doing what it ought and it goes where you point it and all that, why then, uh, then you're glad to run in traffic and, and try and pick up a draft and all the rest of that. Janet, some of the other drivers said that uh, one of their worries when you first came in here was that you weren't physically uh, up to manhandling a 3,700-pound car. How physically exhausting is driving your car? Well, that's, that's really just nonsense. I, after all, as, as Christine Becker said, you don't have to carry it. You just sit in it. And I, although it is certainly tiring, as anyone here will tell you, it is not beyond the capability of any reasonably fit woman.